Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Iman, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of heat. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 5. Jason poured some hot coffee into a flask and placed it in a basin of cold water, as shown in the diagram below. He then plotted a graph to show the temperature of the hot coffee and cold water over a period of time. So first things first, let's try to understand the diagram a little bit more. Now, you notice this question is testing us about heat transfer. Specifically, the heat transfer between the hot coffee and the cold water. We've learned that heat is always transferred from a warmer region to a cooler region. Now, do you think the hot coffee would gain heat from the cold water or lose heat to the cold water? Since the hot coffee is warmer, in this case, the hot coffee should then lose heat to the cold water. Now, you notice from the graph, the question wants us to find the temperature change between the two objects. If the hot coffee were to lose heat, would the temperature of the hot coffee increase or decrease? The temperature would decrease. On the opposite side, we say that the cold water gains heat from the hot coffee, right? So, what happens to the temperature of the cold water now? Now, we would see an increase in temperature of the cold water. With this established, let's take a look at our options for the right answer. Let's first focus on the cold water graph, which I will highlight in blue. Which of the following options can we immediately eliminate? Remember, earlier on, we noted that the temperature of cold water must increase. Hence, we can eliminate option 3, where the temperature of the cold water remains the same, and option 4 where the temperature of the cold water is decreasing instead of increasing. Now, we are left with only option 1 and option 2. Next, we still need to check the temperature graph of the hot coffee. We noted earlier on that the temperature of hot coffee should decrease. But, if you were to take a look at option 1 and option 2, both of them shows the temperature of the hot coffee decreasing. So what now? Does this question have two correct options? Well, the trick here lies in the part that I'm going to circle in red. Remember, earlier we said that heat must always travel from a warmer region to a cooler region. But, would heat transfer happen forever? Let's take the graph in option 1 as an example. If we were to extend this graph further, where the hot coffee would continuously lose heat all the way, until it reaches 0 degrees Celsius. Hang on a minute. Would hot coffee submerged in cold water lose heat until it becomes cold iced coffee? No, right? Eventually, the heat transfer would stop. But at which point? Let's circle back once again, where we said heat transfer can only occur from the warmer region to the cooler region. If they were the same temperature, Let's say both the coffee and water is at 30 degrees Celsius. Would the coffee still be warmer than the water? No. Which means now there is no longer a warmer object or a cooler object. So then, would there be any more heat transfer between the coffee and the water? No. Hence, we can say that when two objects have reached the same temperature, there would no longer be any heat transfer making the graph in option 1 not possible. Instead, the coffee and the water should not only reach the same temperature, but also stay at the same temperature. Hence, the correct option for this question is option 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, 
do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!